Complete the course as quickly as possible. The timer starts when you enter gate 1, so fly through it at high speed. The timer stops when you clear gate 10. Remember, you must fly through each gate in sequence. Gate 1 is up ahead to the right of the runway. A 5 second time penalty will be assessed for each pylon that is clipped, so stay in the middle of the gate when passing through. Gate 2 on the other side of the field. Cross the field to Gate 3. Five second penalty for hitting the pylon. Turn to Gate 4. After gate 4, you must go vertical before going to gate 5. Good job going vertical. Now pass through gate 5 in knife edge with at least 60 degrees of bank. Good pass on gate 5. Now go to gate 6. Now cut across the runway for gate 7. After gate 7, you must go vertical again before making a touch and go. Give yourself some space, then pull up for the vertical. Now that you've gone vertical, do a touch and go on the chalk stripe across the runway. on successfully finishing the course and landing. Here are a few tricks to get a faster time. At the start, climb for altitude, then dive for gate one to build up speed. You can fly the whole course at full throttle, but take care when performing the touch and go at high speed. Avoid pulling more Gs than necessary as speed bleeds off when G-loading. Fly fast and smooth. Don't climb unless you have to, and always anticipate the next gate. 